Okay, so I have a quick message. You are not crazy. God is really speaking to you. Okay, so I'm feeling this message is for um, some of you who you've been having dreams or you've been having visions or you've been seeing numbers or maybe you've been hearing um, God speak to you upon waking up or upon going to sleep. And I feel like it's for people that it's happening to or it has happened to all of a sudden. So maybe you've, you know, you've gone to church your entire life or maybe you haven't. Um, but, you know, you kind of like, you, 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 maybe you've always prayed to God, but you kind of, you know, you just didn't have that relationship with God. Maybe you just kind of thought God was, you know, um, you know, someone who sat in heaven and just either sent you to heaven or hell or, you know, you just didn't have that relationship. And all of a sudden he's communicating with you. He's trying to communicate, um, with you and he's trying to grab your attention. Okay. And y'all, okay, so I'm at work and I was going to put this message out yesterday about, you know, you're not crazy. God is really trying to communicate with you. So believe it. Okay. So don't let anyone think, you know, make you feel like you're crazy or just don't think that, you know, it's all in your head. He's really trying to communicate with you. So I was going to put it out yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to. And I'm so glad that I did not. Because while I was sitting at work, like a little while ago, he revealed, you know, something even deeper and that goes along with the message. Okay. So he is trying to communicate with you. Okay. But the reason why he's trying to communicate with you is because he's trying to reveal something to you. Okay. And he dropped this scripture into my spirit and it's one of my favorite scriptures. Okay. And it's so crazy because it's Daniel 2. 22 and today is 2 to 22 okay so i was like wow and so i was like i gotta get this message out like i had i'm on lunch but i didn't even eat my lunch yet because i was so excited i just wanted to get the word out first i didn't want to forget anything and i didn't want to leave anything out but i'm going to read the scripture to you because i wrote it down and daniel 222 says he reveals deep and hidden things he knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. So God is trying to get you to see something, okay? And this is something that is between you and God, okay? So no one else knows what it is, what it is, and it's like a secret, but he's trying to get you to see something, okay? So we know that we do read the Bible and we live by the word, okay? But certain things that pertain to your life is not written out in the Bible. It's between you and God. So he has to reveal to you. It may be your purpose. It may be um, your next step, your next move. Or he could be trying to warn you about something because he knows what lies in the darkness. Okay. And the light dwells with him. So he knows what lies ahead. So he may be trying to warn you about a particular thing, about a particular person. Um, just about anything. I don't know what it is because it's something between you and God. Okay. So he's trying to reveal something to you or he's trying to warn you about something because he knows what lies ahead. Okay. So pay attention. Just pay attention. You are not crazy. Don't think it's all in your head. God is really choosing you to communicate with you because he wants you to see something so just pay attention i also had another scripture and this scripture is what i wrote down yesterday and it's acts 2 17 and it says and in the last days it shall be god declares that i will pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Okay. So God is really communicating with his people. He is pouring his spirit out. He's 
communicating with people through dreams and visions and he's giving us prophecies about our own lives and about um, the body of Christ in general so you are not crazy so just pay attention and I was so excited because today is 2 2 22 and God dropped that scripture Daniel 2 22 okay into my spirit while I was sitting there working and so you may be seeing 2 2 2 I know I have. I've been seeing 222 a whole lot. And no, we're not talking about angel numbers, but God can speak to you any way he wants to. There's no limit to the way he can speak to you. So don't let anybody tell you there's a limit on, or a certain specific way um, for God to speak to you. He can speak to you however he chooses to speak to you, okay? And he may speak to me in a certain way, and to you in a different way, and to somebody else in a different way. He may he he's gonna speak to us all differently, but specific to what we need and specific to what we will pay attention to and specific to what we will understand, okay? So I don't know what he's trying to reveal to you, but whatever it is, it's important, so pay attention. Alright, I love you guys. Bye.